so we got a comment from Najma and the comment is hey thanks a lot for your helpful videos and the great channel it's my pleasure thank you so much Najma so we got a question also what so what if there are multiple values or let us say various treatments in a study so which value should we choose to calculate Cohen's D or for example Hedges G so what to do with that so I'm going to create a content this tutorial um, the content for this tutorial is going to be for this question and everyone feel free to comment and I'm going to make a content for your uh, comments so why we have multiple uh, values so might have this question in mind why do we have multiple values t values means or standard deviations and in a study and one study for example in one study and which one we should choose so I'm gonna talk about different context and what to do so the reason sometimes is that we have different tests not more not one test we have pre-test post-test delayed post-test and sometimes we have study that have different constructs so it has reading writing vocabulary and this is all are part of one variable but they are right now the kind of the authors or the author has measured the outcome of these study and showed uh, yeah the results different sometimes we had a study that look at the effect by using different interventions so sometimes they use SMS or sometimes they use WhatsApp in the same study so they have different outcomes with different interventions and sometimes they have different treatments as mentioned as Najma has mentioned so different treatment versus one control group sometimes with different control groups or different control conditions so what to do luckily we have a study in 2012 that have answered and talked about um, all of these contexts and what to do and this study was published 2012 and feel free I'm gonna put this study in the comment section so go and uh, read more in details about this then the study in 2014 I added here because it has examined the conclusions that has been put by the authors in 2012 and said the authors in 2014 said hey they took care they speak here we have looked at 2012 study and in our study we find that they are correct they are they provide this kept more support for this study um, and ba basically they, they have tested here so here they have tested the measures for different so so basically if you have different uh, different outcomes different tests different interventions different treatment but in case you want one effect size so in your study you want effect size from a particular study let's say for example i want study from um, 
Tom. So this is Tom's study. So I have from Tom's study I want one effect size. So Tom twenty say twenty twenty. I want one effect size. So if you want one effect size, you have two approaches. One of them is to select the measure. Select one measure. Say, hey, I want just like I want here the um, post test and all the group. So you want to choose one treatment group and one control group and construct you choose one construct you choose here either reading or writing or vocabulary so basically you choose the one that best represent your search question but sometimes you cannot choose it is difficult to choose so in case for example your study let's say your study uh, let's say So let's say you said this about language learning. So it's about language learning. And basically language learning has, you know, all of these reading, writing are language skills. And you can choose. They are all about language. And you say, I cannot choose one. Um, and because I want one effect size, it's hard for me to choose one. So what you would do is to take the average. So the second solution is take the average. So this is, for example, I have already created Excel file for that. And I said the, uh, the F value or the T value for this um, for reading it's 2 for vocabulary I said it's 15 for writing I said it is 7 so and I want one average because my one effect size for language learning so basically I want one effect size that represent all of these So, in order to get just one, so basically what I would do to do the average, put in Excel, highlight your data, and click enter, and this. So basically, for any test, like it, whether it's a value, T value, you want to take the average. And... Uh, of if you have a construct that represent all uh, the constructs in the study basically you want to take the average if you have like the these guys are not using for example they're not they didn't give you the f value or the t value they gave you uh, for example for reading they say group one reading group two is vocabulary a group three is writing and they didn't give you the F value or the T value they have they give you that the mean for control and treatment and then a standard deviation for so the standard deviation for treatment and standard deviation for control so basically what you do is the same thing you take the average so I want to say this is language learning and as I mentioned this group 1 reading group 2 vocabulary group 3 writing and I simply say average I like this let's say what it gives me so yeah so based on the data that they gave you the value or the t value mean or 
set the deviation you have one construct that you want you want to take one effect size just going back in case you want effect size one effect size from the study from Tom's study you either select or take the average so on another tutorial I'm gonna talk about what if you want to take more than one effect size so basically sometimes we find studies that say I has I have taken 50 effect sizes from 20 studies so basically every effect size they found there they have taken it for example they would say oh this effect size they came from one so basically one single thing that has to be unified in meta-analysis research is that you have to say from one test you can you know mostly uh, they didn't choose more than one test but this has to be for the most time it has to be one but they're gonna include from different say they say the most test from reading writing vocabulary the most test from sms and whatsapp the most test for this so basically they would use one single measure because um yeah when i mentioned that so i'm gonna talk about this in the next tutorial if you want uh, to get more than one effect size from the study you're going to use something called robust variance estimation and here is the study um, that talks about that Pujotsky and Tepton meta-analysis with robust extending and they talk about about a working model so yeah if you want uh, to watch the tutorial for this one, make sure uh, to subscribe to this channel and I'll create a comment for it. And please, if you have any questions or comment and you would like to see a content about it, leave a comment in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Um, day night or morning and see you another tutorial